please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? So yesterday on Omegon 2 Electric Boogaloo, channel link in the pinned comment down below, I put out a video titled FROGAN NEEDS TO BE BANNED, all caps because apparently that's the best way to title a video these days. In the video we went through some of the rather stupid things Frogan said concerning PTSD and soldiers, going on to try and justify it after having already doubled down. Which is a bit stupid really, isn't it? Frogan is one of 30 people, at least on the platform of Twitch, who should, based on terms of service for that platform, be banned. For how long, I don't know. But the rules are quite clear on this, because there are certain protected classes, veterans, and mental health fell well within it. Frogan is, I'll tell you a bit about her, an anti-Semite, pure and simple. She's many other things, but a very privileged moron that likes to screech from her tower whilst vehemently defending Hassan Pika, who at this point I am now convinced is a smooth brain. You may like Hassan Pika, that's quite alright, I'm going to disagree with you, because he has a very smooth brain. I would have come to the realisation sooner, but I was too busy paying attention to what he said to notice he has a jacked body. Typically those that are quite jacked are also really, really stupid. He is a great example of someone who thinks he's smarter than he really is. Back to Frogan though, Frogan, as I said in the video yesterday, should have been removed from Twitch, given some form of punishment for what she had said about them, but also the defense of Hamas. You can't defend Hamas. You really can't. But Frogan does. Well, much like Review Tech USA resurfacing to livestream when he really shouldn't have, he made it worse. Frogan did in fact get a consequence shortly after my video went public. I'm not irritated about this, I'm just really disappointed at timing, because it always seems to happen to me. Yes, this is all about me now. You're on my channel after all. One of the first things that Frogan did was go Scorched Earth. It is a safe tactic, many employ it, you remove all your content so it can't be used by the internet. By the way, just a fun little factoid, it's fascinating to me, Asmongold, who got banned for 14 days, left comments open on everything. But as I showed in yesterday's video on Omegon 2, again linked in the pinned comment down below, Frogan turned comments and replies off. What's interesting to me is people who do this in current year seem to forget that once you say something as dumb as what Frogan said, I'm going to play it here by the way just so we have our memories refreshed. Any other motherfucker you're joining them, you're like, oh my god, I want my Camaro and no student loans? Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. <laughs> and I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into a. America. <laughs> and they posted it in my head. I'm like, ah, base? Ah, base? <laughs> like, am I supposed to be, am I supposed to be like, like, I'm not walking back on it. I still agree with it. Ah, base! Believes that once it's removed from their channel, the consequence is gone. And of course, the problem too. The issue there is once it's on the internet, it is forever. Therefore, you will never be free of your words. You really won't. Now, as we know, this did not work. This did not yield a um, positive outcome for Frogan. What a shame. So what happened next? By the way, we know you didn't walk back on this. You put out your apology by justifying what you said with additional context as if you didn't have opportunity to say it on the live stream. You doubling down did you no favours. Undid your attempt at an apology which was weaker than Logan Paul's after going through the suicide forest, which subsequently led to you getting more attention than you could handle to the point you removed comments, you made sure no one could reply, you got ratioed to high hell because of it you trended, and more criticism from virtually every streamer went your way. More people then, because of you, started looking at Hassan. Guilt by association was a guarantee, because he is considered the head of the Hydra, and some of the dumb crap he comes out with is getting flayed right now by others. That would include Ethan Klein, whether you like him or not, I'm just pointing out a name of somebody who's criticising Hassan Pika. Yeah, I think, I think most of the most of this commentary 
is basically just to, you know, move the attention away from people who are just bored of defending Israel or bored of on Israel or even hearing about anything that's going on in Gaza. The Courtesy of streamer bans on Twitter. Twitch partner Frogan has been banned. Reply underneath, I'm shocked. Twitch banned someone who deserved it. Drama alert. Frogan banned on Twitch after saying soldiers deserved PTSD. She confirms it is a 30-day ban. On Twitter, Frogan had tweeted, 30-day ban for saying people like bottom of the barrel hummus, but other people get two weeks for advocating for the genocide of Palestinians got it. You can't compare the two, but that's hilarious that you would do that. Also, it's a massive, well, intellectually dishonest statement to make from Frogan with regards to the latter. You're lucky it's just a 30-day ban. Now, rather amusingly, Twitch has suspended all members of the TwitchCon rating streamers panel for 30 days for what has been dubbed hateful conduct. The TwitchCon rating streamers had done something that was ripped into by Ethan Klein. Frogan had actually tweeted out context, it was about who could say the word Habibi, right? Whether it was considered hate speech depending on the type of person saying it. Personally, I couldn't care less about the language, but I can understand why some get very defensive about it because they gatekeep. If you're one of them, and you get annoyed that I just said that, you're a part of the problem, okay? Included are images of the panel, and this channel is temporarily unavailable due to violations of Twitch's community guidelines, terms and or terms of service. Here's a clip, by the way, of them reviewing something, yeah. All right. But we are gonna tier list them and we're gonna need your help to discuss and figure out who can say Habibi and who can't. And also, we have tiers, we have Arab, Arab coded. They ask permission to say Habibi, you know, like, like you got like a white guy who's like, can I say it? Is it a slur? Is it okay? Can I allow it? You know what I'm saying? And then you have thinks it's a slur where it's like a white person that really they're like, no, I, I'm not going to say that. I'm so sorry. And then love Sabra, which is th they're not Arab coded <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's they're not allowed to say it. It's basically like you can't say it. And if you say it, you're literally hate criming us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which okay. is the perfect transition to our first person, Hassan. Yeah. The amusing parts of them getting banned, by the way, was tweeted by Alex getting nuked from Twitch right before the election, which is the most profitable time to be a politics streamer, because you couldn't stop making fun of Jewish people and veterans is pretty rough. And there's a point to that. What they need is for Trump to win so they can be really angry on stream about how people voted for Trump when they come back, because they're going to miss all of it on Twitch. The streamers in question are Vio, Denims, Frogan, and Capri Sampapi. They are considered by others to be mid-level leadership in Twitch's anti-Semitic politics section. Many believe Hassan is leading this charge. Whether they're right or not, I'm not going to be drawn in on that. That's up to you, the viewer, because if I give my opinion on it, I get more dislikes. With Hassan in mind, he's had a few thoughts concerning these bans. I think it's important to play a relevant clip from his streams discussing it. Because Drew Pavlou, who on Omegon 2 led the charge against Frogan, tweeted, Hassan is melting down at Twitch bans against Hamas supporters, with the quote, My absolute pleasure to get Frogan banned from with my 20 million impressions tweet, Hassan, your next buddy. It should be worth pointing out if you watch the clip, his chat is melting down too. Of, or this, you know, colonial extraction. And instead, you are just an Islamist fundamentalist who would love to redefine America and and make American governance look like Hezbollah. Okay? There is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. All I can do is just take it. Just like all Capri Sun Poppy and Frogan and everyone else that's getting banned in this uh, mass ban wave, that all they can do is take it. You know, Hassan, I think they should do something else. I think they should learn to take consequences on board, improve from them, be a better person, and stop being so poisonous. This mentality to be poisonous is the negative trait ironically spouted from people who like to preach compassion and tolerance. Yet the one thing you are incapable of is tolerance. It's almost like a behavioural trait that you've never been raised to understand. Right now, you are in the middle of your election season. You have two choices. For the past three and a half years, much in the way of war has taken place and gotten worse. You are using it to drive home political points against one over the other. This kind of behaviour 
shows how pointless your fight is because you are not interested in learning, in being better. You just want to win. Even though over the past three and a half years, you, Hassan, have seen tremendous success with a government that hasn't done that well. No offense intended to any American that thinks Biden has done a great job. You're wrong. And his term in office is nothing short of elder abuse. Now, since Frogan is banned from Twitch, Frogan has resurfaced. Courtesy of Clip SZN. She, she's moved to kick. She's made an account, apparently. She even has followers, which is interesting. I'm impressed that she would go there, but I'm not surprised at the same time. I'm impressed, though, that you'd have the balls to go there because the intolerance you're going to receive will be vastly worse there, especially when there are other streamers like Aidan Ross who stream over there, and they are quite critical of you. Poking on your shit. F*** you. Whore. Slut. Bitch. <laughs> you're a terrorist in my eyes. I'm the reason why there was a big ADL tweet. Me, yes. I complained about her. Do something. I got her banned. Straight up, I don't care. I snitched. I don't care. Call me a snitch. I don't care. I got her banned. I don't care. What tickles me here is Aiden Ross talking to the ADL. The ADL had actually spoken to Twitch and tweeted out, ADL spoke with Twitch staff today after becoming aware of several concerning incidents on the social media platform and or involving streamers in the past week. We appreciate Twitch making the right decision to finally suspend the streamer Frogan for abusing her platform and the TwitchCon event to spread anti-Semitic vitriol during this time of intense apprehension for the Jewish community. Oof. You know, Frogan, you've goofed when the ADL are against you as well. But I doubt Frogan will learn because Frogan has no reason to learn. All she had to do was scorched earth Discord, Twitter, if that happens, Twitch, go to kick before she can come back to Twitch be a little tentative for a while and then rinse repeat once the uh, energy has died down a bit. The thing here is, Frogan now knows when Frogan goofs, especially at a time like this, Frogan runs a big risk of losing a major source of income. I'm also not sure if she can mod for Hassan with her account currently being banned, unless she's on an alt account. But then Hassan has another problem. Does Hassan stand by these people when he's the fourth most viewed streamer of all time? Does he risk it? believing himself removed from the oikery of the rules, or does he get a new set of moderators? Which in turn could cause problems if Frogan decides to go against him. So this is a really interesting situation to be in, isn't it? Makes you wonder. I still think Hassan Piker sucks, though. And I think Frogan's a disingenuous feck. Both of you deserve smeg on your heads and a jolly good slap around the face with a rotting smoked kipper.